Hello there everyone, uh, Factional House is back again with another tutorial for Cinema 4D and uh, this time I bring you guys the tutorial for the latest preview that I did on my channel uh, the Nautilus uh, animation, it's kind of organic stuff that uh, we did uh, here and um, this time to show you guys uh, how to make this from scratch and uh, make this a cool thing so I um, hope you guys enjoy the tutorial and uh, find this useful for, for our projects and for our things on Cinema 4D and I uh, hope you like it, so let's jump on a new project and let's get this uh, started. So uh, first thing I need uh, here to, to build my object uh, is a spline and I'm going to add a linear spline. I'm going to my front view and just add a few points over here just to start designing my spline. So once we have our spline, we can start adding uh, our Latin herbs and just make a spline a child of the Latin herbs. So, uh, Next thing we have here is just an object, and then uh, we start to um, start to getting something. So now on the lighting herbs, we go going over here and just starting scaling this up, just like so we can have like uh, this kind of uniform uniform thing, and uh, it's like it's getting cool. So I'm just going to position this for the camera so we can have uh, a cool view on this uh, while we're working this out. So I'm going to put this to minus ninety over here and I'm going to put this to 90 I think yeah it's cool so our shape is probably is going to end up uh, kind of like this but we're going to start animating this so we can have our shape working uh, cool so uh, on this angle I'm going to push this to around 750 I'm going to add a keyframe I'm going to push this to 90 frames and on the first frame, I'm going to put this to zero, so we can have the, that kind of animation. So if you press start, you see that your shape gets like a rounding. And, um, I think it's a cool uh, animation, it's just like a simple animation and uh, like a basic tutorial. But I think you guys uh, can uh, pull some cool things out of this. So uh, uh, once I have this, I, I still need a little bit of space over here, so I'm going to scale a little bit more our object so we can have a better detail of things. So uh, now our object uh, needs a little bit of geometry and uh, all that uh, good stuff to, to make it look uh, more realistic. So I'm going to put over here, I'm going to put a simulate cloth and add a cloth nerves uh, to this. But with the cloth nerves, I'm only going to use thickness because the, the major of, uh, of the geometry is going to be ringed by the hyper nerves but uh, first so that we put the hypnerves, I'm going to add a, over here a mograph corner and also a cylinder. And on the cylinder, I'm going to put this on a size of two and grab the cylinder and put it at the child of the corner. And now I'm going to the corner and set this to object and bring my Latin herbs over here. So as the first time you see that your that your cylinder is getting all crazy on this. But there's a way to fix this. So you're going to your cloner, you're going to put this on the edge and the scale on edge to 100. And as you see, you have all your object uh, like surrounded by the by the cloners over here. So if you press backwards and you press play, you see that um, you see that the cloner is getting dragged by the the animation of the lighting edge. So uh, I think it looks really cool. So let's continue our stuff. So. Uh, once that we have our animation, we can now start adding a little bit of geometry on this and you see that it's going to look uh, like cool. So I'm going to grab my happenerbs and I'm going to press alt and make this uh, the, clone of the cloth a child of, uh, of the happenerbs. And as you see, the, um, the cylinder or the cloner is already getting uh, off from the, from the shape itself and it looks uh, a lot nice. So, uh, just check out on the, how this is going. And yeah, we're getting directed to the point that we want. So uh, we have our shape, we have our animation done. And uh, now we need just to add just a little bit of spice in on the end. So this can have a little bit of motion. So that's quite easy. But, uh, as you probably saw on a, on a few tutorials that we did. So I'm going to the cloth nerves and I'm going to add an effector. Uh, no, not an effector, but the, the deformer. I'm going to put the jiggle deformer over here. 
and as you see, yep, I put a chip deferment. Let's just see if this is working correctly. Uh, we need to push this to 130 so we can see the movement because our animation ends on 90. Just see if this passes a little bit. No, it's not passing because this way off. We need to put the jiggle deformer on top of the light enough. So now this is probably working correctly. Yeah, we see that bounciness over here and uh, everything is looking cool. But I still need a little bit of geometry on this. So I'm going to my hyper nerves. I'm going to put just one or two. So let's make it just one so we can see on how a ship is working. Yeah, it's looking really cool. So um, we have that kind of uh, like organic uh, nautilus. Uh, it's a lot of, there's a lot of ways to model this and make this, but uh, I wanted to make this um, um, uh, like uh, like an animated form and easy to, to catch up so you can uh, uh, work out the geometry on this. So um, I think, it, I hope you guys uh, are enjoying this. So the next thing I'm going to do is start to adding uh, our lights and our textures to, to finish this and so you can have an animation for your project. So, uh, now I'm going to start adding our lights. I'm going to put an area light over here. Just bring this girl over here on front and control and drag. Just put another one. Let's just scale up this a little bit. But even better, we can we can just uh, Alt and G so we can put this on a on an object. Let's call this Nautilus and let's now just rescale this guy a little bit just to see so that also the texture can work a little bit better on this and uh, we, uh, we have like a, like a reasonable object to work on the scene. So uh, I'm going to grab my lines again, I'm going to rescale them a little bigger, put this one, also rescale it. And we're good to go. Just push them over a little bit on front of the object so we can have some lights casting on it. And it looks okay for the start. So we have our lights. I'm going to build this with V-Ray. So I'm going to put a V-Ray light over here. And I'm going to enable my shadows. And also I'm going to put a camera, but I'm not going to turn it off. On right now, just yeah, why not? I'm going to just position now the camera, and then we just finish our lights on the end. That should be okay. Just do the coordinates. Put this on 90, this on zero, and we should have a direct view to the object. Let's make just a few render. We already have. Uh, the shadows working on it, and uh, I think it's going to look really cool. So, have our lights, and also on our camera, we're going to need a V-ray tag, just a physical camera over here. And on the physical camera, I'm going to put this to natural, the white balances, and I'm going to set my film ISO to around 400, and the shutter speed to let's start to make it 25. And I'm going to my render settings with my anti aliasing to best as always. So we can have a cool geometry on this and uh, also bring my V ray bridge over here and uh, my save output. This is just for us to, to set a cool file. And I'm going to put my screen resolution from 1920, this for 1080p. That's okay. And we should have already a cool thing over here. Alright, so we have our scene set up, and now we're not, uh, we need uh, to start texturing this, so I'm going to create a new material, the very bridge, advanced material, and I'm going to make the, the material for the animated pattern over here. So uh, the, I'm going to put the SSS layer over here, already working, just grab this on, and I'm going to put this to 1, and the rest is okay. 
and I'm going to put this also to redress it always for the first so you can have a different thing and just go into the diffuse layer I'm going to bring my uh, my texture map uh, the texture map is the um, that animation that I did uh, for the latest tutorial for the pattern animation on Cinema 4D so I just um, uh, animated a 2500 by 2500 pixels uh, image uh, animation and then bring it over to Cinema 4D so, so we can uh, put the texture as an animated pattern uh, on this so, uh, so we can uh, now so we can have to see uh, here our SSS layer just need to go over here to the diffuse layer transparency and bring this a little bit forward and a little bit forward so we can start to see our SSS material over here and just bring this over to the Nautilus here on the Latin nerves. Okay, and I'm going to put this on a spherical position and put this on seamless and just make a like a quick render just to see how this is going. Oh, yeah, I think also the pattern is uh, looking a lot cooler than mine. So um, that way you can stay with a different thing and uh, also catch up with the, the other files so you can see how I put the other ones. So I'm also going to my V-Ray bridge so we can start uh, putting this cool and I'm going to put this filter on and put this on big cat move on. Oh, I like this one. And the color mapping, I'm going to put this to HSV exponential because it's good for indoor and outdoor. And in direct illumination, we're going to put the preset from the cows group there. This medium that is cool for this uh, quick render. So I'm going to make just another quick render just to see how this is going. We probably still need a, a little bit of a reflection on this, but I, I kind of like the material that, uh, that it is. So um, you can make that uh, the starter for the parents and bring over this, or you can animate it just texture if you're on Cinema 4D and bring it over to this one. So uh, I'm going to also put a little bit of reflection here on our material. That is this one. I'm going to the IOR, as, as you can see over here, we already have a reflection. And just to bring this a little bit lower, and it's okay. So, so I'm going to make a material for the iron. Uh, another advanced material uh, here, bring the sun and just go into the diffuse layer, bring this a little bit more grayish, and just on the IOR, I'm going to put this a lot over here around five, 450 should be cool. And just now you can bring the roughness of the glossiness to a lot less. And you see that we're going to have a cool material, like an iron or aluminium material there, that we have over here. And you can bring that to the corner. And just make a quick render on this and see how this is working out. As, as I said, guys, uh, this was a simple story. Just, uh, just a quick tip so you can use uh, animated patterns over here. And textures and uh, and how to animate uh, just uh, like a uh, Nautilus uh, animation. So I uh, hope you're enjoying this and hope you keep following uh, our stuff in our projects here at FX and House, guys. So I um, hope you play a lot with this. And uh, I think for uh, is done uh, on our tutorial. So um, so if you have an, any questions or any doubts, uh, just drop a comment down below. And uh, we'll see you guys on a uh, new tutorial very soon, guys. So thanks for watching and cheers.